In this video, we are going to continue working uh, on completing our top view cut. And we just went through and we drew our uh, bottom of our car back on because we need that on there in order to draw our shapes that we want to push pull through the entirety of our car. Uh, and this is the video seven where we're going to use our push pull to basically make those shapes after we add those uh, um, different shapes onto the bottom of our car. So going into our model, uh, what we've already done is if we go to our bottom view right now, um, or looking at a car right now, you can see that uh, we have our surfaces drawn back in. Um, and you didn't need to do every one as far as the front, middle, and the back. It's just whatever or wherever you plan on having your car, uh, you want a car changed from the top view looking down. Meaning if we go to the full car, look at our top view. Wherever you want the change to happen, you got to have that bottom drawn on in this view. Okay, so if I wanted to have the middle taken out, remember to also avoid this middle piece where the CO2 cartridges, um, we would be drawing on this side. If I want to have the outside cut out, I'd be drawing on this side. If I was working on the middle or the end, it, it would be, uh, there would be changes in those spots, okay? So my demonstration here, first of all, is showing how you change uh, the inside shape. So uh, if I want to have a, a cutout in the middle of my car, uh, one that we'll use the scroll saw to cut out when we get to that portion of cutting our car, we will come in and use the arc tool or the pencil tool, it doesn't matter. Um, and what we want to do is we want to start by starting on the edge. Uh, once again, I have already double clicked into my model. So remember, if you don't see that bounding box, you get a right click edit component to get in there because otherwise you'll draw and you'll be upset because it's not doing anything. Edit undo if that happens to you. Now, um, I'm going to draw a shape in the middle of my car and show you how to push pull it through to delete that portion out. So um, first thing is pencil or arc doesn't matter. We want to start on the edge. We want to end on the edge. All right. And the other part is make sure that our third click here is on the face of the bottom. If it's not there, this will not work. All right. The other part to remember is uh, if we go too skinny, you're not going to have much material. It'll be doubled on the other side, but we don't want to get too thin. Okay. And this cut dropping that on the face there will be on the inside of my car. I know because I'm on the middle, the middle is the top as we, as we click into this bottom view scene. If you wanted it to be on the outside, you just do the opposite, meaning start on this edge, go to the other side, and then bend it up. Now, once I have this drawn here, the next thing I'm going to do is go to my ISO view. And I got to kind of orbit around because it's underneath my car and it's on the inside. So I got to find that surface. And the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to use the push-pull tool to select that surface. And I'm going to go up. You're going to notice that when I get to a certain point, it's going to get stuck. All right? It won't go any further. Once we get to that point, we want to hit the control key. The control key will allow us to go through by adding surfaces. And we want to click way above our car because we're going to, it'll make it easier to delete the things we don't need later on. Now that I have that stuff drawn, the next thing I want to do is I want to select all. All right. And the select all happens by doing a selection tool and then a triple click. One, two, three. All right. I can tell it selected all because it has all the blue surfaces. We learned this way back when in the getting started, if you got that far in the entry videos of SketchUp for schools. Uh, once we have it all highlighted, the next step is we want to right click. And then we want to intersect faces with model. What that does is after we click this, it takes all the surfaces that are going across other surfaces and makes points and surfaces from those intersections. Once I hit that, now I'm ready to start deleting. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go to the front view of my car. And what I can start by doing is a selecting with a selection tool or using the eraser tool and hitting delete there. To delete the surfaces that I don't want to have anymore from the front. If I didn't need that front of my little portion I bent there, I could delete that too. All right? But more importantly, deleting the stuff that we're adding right now. And then also going to our front view and then selecting the surfaces that we just did there. Clicking and dragging from right to left, selects that, hitting delete. 
Now when I go to my full car, you will see that I have cut out the middle. All right. If I want to do the opposite, where I want to cut out the outside edge, I just would model would have modeled on the other surface. Okay. If I'm doing the ends, it works the same way. Or the the end on the back, you got to be careful of uh, just getting too close to our CO2 car housing. Um, but it works the same way. So once again, just hearing, hey, we draw on the bottom surface our shape. Pencil tool could be an arc, could be a, an angle. And then after we draw, we push pull that up. We have to uh, triple click to highlight all. Once again, that triple click is a turning everything blue. One, two, three. And then right click, intersect faces with model after we've done that push pull uh, with the control key. All right. Uh, if you need more help, watch the video again. It shows the demonstration of that process. Um, at the same time, good luck. It is a little difficult. Thank you for watching.